Life is hard sometimes. Whether you were born into poverty or opulence, regardless of your skin, gender identity, sexual orientation, or where your political compass points, life is hard sometimes. It seems that sometimes we focus so much on what obscurities make us different and why we can't possibly understand one another that we often lose track of our shared humanity. That includes our shared successes and our shared suffering. We all experience loss, grief, frustration, feelings of isolation or misunderstanding. If you're searching desperately right now for a rationale as to why some elite members of our species will never understand true suffering or pain in the way that you know it because of some invisible shield they have which you don't, then just stop. Stop and soak in the reality that nobody lives a perfect life. And there's likely a better use for your time and energy than playing the game for whose cuts run the deepest and who started where in the unfair marathon of life. There should be no competition over whose life is the hardest or least fair or who can't possibly be understood by the rest of society. It's especially cringe-inducing for people to claim that you can't possibly understand the challenges of their lives while insisting they somehow have a deep understanding of how easy your life must be. We instead should focus on understanding and empathizing with each other. You accomplish that by being accessible in genuine conversations, not by insisting that you or your ilk and your problems cannot possibly be comprehended. I want to challenge you to be something bigger than your demographics. Life is too short, but it's the longest thing you'll ever do. So take some of your own time to brighten someone else's. Share a smile, a laugh, a joke, or a meal with someone who needs it. Remind yourself that you're a human floating on a wet, spinning rock with a bunch of other humans who all pretend we know what we're doing when in reality we don't. Even those among us who appear neck deep in bravado and confidence struggle. So find a way to do something positive for someone, even if it isn't clear they need it. Many people hide much more internal pain than those around them will ever realize. Don't put it off like it doesn't matter or it can wait a few weeks because by then it could be too late. The people who make you grit your teeth on social media or get your blood boiling when you watch the news because of their offensive opinions or general displays of what you consider stupidity are people too. They may go to great lengths to give the impression that they're immune to life's struggles or you may insist to yourself that such is the case, but I assure you, those people bleed, they hurt, they care, and they matter. From the outright alt-right to the social justice warriors, from extreme MRAs to extreme feminists, from devoutly religious to staunch atheists, from the far right to the far left, we're all people. And the standard of living that anyone able to listen to this video right now enjoys is owed to the benefit of our species working together. In the ocean of life, no one of us can be a freighter or a cruise ship in isolation. The unfortunate reality is that at times, each of us take on too much water. We grow weary in the waves. We begin to drown. To rescue someone who is drowning, you don't need to be a yacht, a lifeboat, or even a formal flotation device for their troubles. Oftentimes, at best, we are but pieces of driftwood floating far from shore. And you may feel insignificant as a piece of driftwood who can only lend your ear to someone's tribulations give a hug that snuffs their flames of anger, or share a conversation with someone to quench their thirst of loneliness. But to a drowning victim in life's ocean, however, that piece of driftwood you gave them, that brief respite from the crashing waves, can mean the world.